at our sky cams as we look across the area here. We've got Jupiter, we've got West Palm Beach, we have the Treasure Coast, Jensen Beach there, Boca down here. Lots of blue skies around, just a few clouds here and there. Let's talk about our weather headlines. A not so cold front is moving through South Florida right now. We'll talk about when we'll see the highest rain chances over the next few days, and we're looking at a pretty warm Halloween here in South Florida. There's a look at the front. You can see it stretched across the state here. Uh, what we've got going on here is in the brown areas, not in the tan areas, the lighter brown is drier air, but just to the south of the front, we've got a lot of moisture in place. So that moisture is going to mix a little bit around what's left of the front, giving us some slight chances for rain. There's no rain on the radar right now, but as we get to the afternoon and evening hours today, we could see a few pop up showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms, especially out around Lake Okeechobee later on this afternoon and overnight tonight, maybe a coastal shower or two. So we're left with the remnants of this front through the next few days through Friday and into Saturday as well. The highest chance for rain looks Looks like it will be Saturday morning as we get a little bit of a swath of moisture moving in along the coast. It's just a morning thing for the most part, at least on most of the computer models. It moves inland and over to the west coast of Florida during Saturday afternoon. So closer to the coast Saturday morning, looks like we could see some rainfall. Next front on the way by the time we get to Halloween and shortly thereafter, but it's also a very weak front. So our rain chances go from about 20% today and tomorrow to about 40% for Saturday morning and then back down to 20% for Sunday and for Monday Halloween. We've got this front moved across the area this morning, as I mentioned, but I want you to take a look at it on a bigger picture. See how long and stretched out it is? The longer the front is stretched out, the weaker it is, especially if you're at the southern end of the front like we are. There's a lot of cooler air up to our north, but it's really stretched thin, spread thin, if you will, and so it's not quite as strong. We have a more compact front back here. Look how cold the air is behind that in the 30s. So the longer the front, the weaker it is down by the southern end there. Temperatures right now in the low to mid 80s across the area. Out in the tropics, couple things to look at. Nothing that is a threat to Florida, but we have an area of low pressure here, 40% chance of development. That's going to stay out in the Atlantic here, eventually moving over to the east. We've also got this down here, which hasn't even developed in anything yet, but it's possible we could see some low pressure develop here. Maybe a tropical depression that will move over towards Central America as we get into next week, especially the middle of next week. Here's a look at your seven day forecast today. Highs in the mid 80s, 20% chance for rain, mainly later this afternoon, early this evening, 20% tomorrow, 40% Saturday morning there, and then and then more sunshine by sun, Saturday afternoon. Sunday and Monday look great. Halloween looking fantastic, little on the warm side and only a slight chance for a few showers for the kids when they go out trick or treating. That's a quick look at your forecast. All right.